हेलो एवरीवन माय सेल्फ धीरज हो रे एंड आई एम लेक्चरर डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ फार्मास्यूटिकल केमिस्ट्री फ्रॉम यूडीपीआईपी कॉलेज ऑफ फार्मासी डोंगरगाव संभाजी नगर सो टुडे आई एम गोइंग टू टेल यू अबाउट हाउ टू प्रिपेयर बेंजोइक एसिड फ्रॉम द बेंजामाइड मींस हाउ टू सिंथेसाइज बेंजोइक एसिड फ्रॉम द बेंजामाइड सो फॉर द प्रिपरेशन वी हैव रिक्वायर्ड ग्लास वेयर्स एंड द केमिकल्स सो इन दैट ग्लास वेयर वी हैव रिक्वायर्ड बीकर राउंड बॉटम फ्लास्क स्टरर फनर पिपेट एंड द मेजरिंग सिलेंडर and in, in the chemicals we have required benzamide uh, 10% solution of uh, sodium hydroxide uh, and concentrated hydrochloric acid so now we are going to proceed the procedure okay so first step is what first step we have to uh, weigh the 5 g of benzamide so i have already preweighted the benzamide 5 g of benzamide okay now this benzamide we have to transfer into the round bottom flask okay <coughs> properly we have to transfer the benzamide into the round bottom flask then we have to take 50 ml of so 10% solution of sodium hydroxide firstly i am going to measure 10% solution of sodium hydroxide by using measuring cylinder now i am going to take 50 ml of sodium hydroxide okay so this is 50 ml of sodium hydroxide now i am going to transfer this sodium hydroxide into the round bottom glass slowly okay i have completely transfer now after that we have to shake this round bottom glass up to means till until the uh, benzamide dissolve with the 10% solution of sodium hydroxide now the sodium hydroxide properly dissolve okay now we have to add 2 to 3 pieces of porcelain unglazed porcelain into the round bottom glass the porcelain pieces we have added into the round bottom glass because which we have to avoid means we have to prevent the bumping of the solution when the when we uh, keep this round bottom flask for the boiling that time when when the excess of um, heating may be cause cracking of the round bottom flask so that's why we have added uh, the porcelain pieces into the round bottom flask okay so now we are going to fill this round bottom flask with the reflux condenser okay I have filled the round bottom glass with the reflux condenser. Okay. Allow the round bottom glass for the means heating up to 30 minutes. And at that time, at the time of heating, there is a one reaction occurs means uh, the benzamide is react with the 10% solution of benzoic acid and there is a formation of sodium benzoate. There is a formation of sodium benzoate when after we uh, remove the round bottom flask and allow this keep for the uh, keep into the uh, ice bath for the 2 to 5 minutes then after when we add hydrochloric acid then the formation of benzoic acid okay now heating is going on now 30 minutes is over now uh, we are going to uh, off the burner okay burner is off now Now I am going to remove the round bottom glass which is fitted with the reflux condenser. Now, now this uh, RBF which is keep in a ice water bath for the four to five minutes. Now we have to keep this round bottom glass in a ice water bath for the four to five minutes. Now, four to five minutes is over. Now I am going to add uh, concentrated hydrochloric acid into the round solution mixture. So we have to add the concentrated hydrochloric acid into the solution mixture. We have to add seven to eight drops of concentrated hydrochloric acid into the solution mixture. Then again, then again. This solution mixture uh, keep in uh, ice water bath 
for the ten minutes. Now, just see the benzoic acid crystal, solid crystal is formed in the round bottom flask. Now we are going to filter these products by using funnel and filter paper. Filtration hmm. process is completed. I have collect collect this product in the on the filter paper. Now solid crystalline form of benzoic acid oil obtained. And after that we have to dry this product. And after drying we have to again recrystallize this product. Means recrystallization is a process. By using recrystallization, we can purify the product. Now this product is containing impurity. After recrystallization, this product will be purified. Okay. After recrystallization, we have again uh, weigh this product. After weighing, we have to find out the percentage yield by using formula percentage yield is equal to theoretical yield upon the practical yield. into the 100 by using this formula we can calculate the percentage thank you so much